Hello and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Nonon Films. Today we're going to look at the new version of iMovie, which was just released on March 9th. And uh, what you're going to do straight up from your desktop, if you go up to your applications, or you can go up to the top right hand corner where you see the search bar and type in uh, App Store. We're going to go straight into our App Store. And uh, once you see it pop up here, go ahead and enter and launch it. And uh, since mine's right here, I'm just going to launch it from the side. And it brings you up. Mine's currently not loading because the Wi-Fi kind of really just sucks. But if you go to the updates tab, you will see the new version of iMovie where you'll be able to hit update, put in your passcode, sign into iTunes or the App Store, and you will be able to get the download. It roughly takes, depending on your Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi is horrible right now. So it really depends. It shouldn't take no longer than 10 minutes to upgrade. But I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show it up to you guys in the browser. For example, here, here's the update and the, some of the main features that were added and uh, fixed, resolved. Um, now, since we have the new Photos application, if you guys have received also the newest Mac update and uh, for your OS, um, you will have the new Photos applications, which I did cover in my uh, weekly Apple News video be sure to check that out but let's go on it says browse moments collector collections favorites and albums from the photos app to add content to your projects play pause previous next or full screen buttons are always displayed on below the viewer this is actually something that was in the old version of iMovie they're actually putting it back it's that way it just stays on the screen and then also the record voiceover button is now also on the viewer which makes it a lot easier instead of a lot of people who are having a hard time how to do voiceovers now this should be a lot easier and then add support for a Sony X, S, X, a, v, C, S format basically additional compatibility and then addresses stability and compatibility issues so let's go ahead and take a look within iMovie actually itself and uh, I have a little video here. We're just gonna go inside here since this is a small, this is actually a clip. If we go inside, we should be able to see right here at the very bottom, this is the biggest change. I don't mean to move the mouse too much, but right here at the very bottom of the bar here, you, you have the voiceover, you have the go previous, go forward, pause, play, right here. And then you can also go full screen out here at the bottom. I'm actually really happy that they added these. It's now you, um, there is a shortcut key, just hit V to do the voiceover, but also now it's right on your screen. It's easy to find you. It's honestly makes it a lot easier for the user, but that's the basics of this update and be sure to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. You guys have a great day and later. Let my life be the proof.